<laughs> Correct. Let's try that. And now we say if cat action is equal to cat items. Right? So we're gonna call server from our um, client and we're gonna do some stuff here. So this is the data we will be returning. Now we're gonna try something. We're gonna say results results is equal to connection which we declared above query select star which is all from my task uh, semicolon and for each result as results each result I don't know how we doing this for each result as result right um what are we doing here also it seems you have an error right we just need to catch any errors nope exception e i guess we could echo the message get message right anyway so we're gonna create a list so ally that's the first thing then what we're going to put inside the list is our result nope result um name task no nope, that's not the name what's the name the name is name right so name is name then we're going to close our list element right and that should be it so once we finish with that, we're just going to echo data, right? So we should be good here. So on the client side, oh, we can function get items, right? We're going to call the server. One second. So we're going to call the server. How are we doing this? Right. So we're going to use get server.php and we're going to set the action to equal to get items right because in server we have get action so get action um it's get items so get items uh we don't need to pass in anything we just return and the data is what we echoed right um task so we want the task element so task list we can see this is um task so i've accessed it globally and now we're just going to say task list we're going to empty it and then append the data that we get so let's see if this works now remember we have two tasks hello world task one and hello world task two so let's see if we can get this to work it's not working. Why isn't it working? Maybe because we did not call function get items. So get items. We're gonna call this function unload, and now we're gonna run it again. As you can see, hello world task one, hello world, and hello world task. So if we were to add a next task, let's say hello world task three, and we save this. And then we reloaded our page. You should see the showing up there.